question is more to come. Let's ask George C. of Annandale Capital. He owns Google, Meta, Amazon, and Apple, as well as several semi names. Good to see you again. Welcome back. What do you think? You think tech's going to turn around in 2023? I do, Scott. I, I think it's going to turn around at some point. I, I think it's there's more pain ahead for investors, though. So I'd, I'd uh, strap the helmet on and be ready for some more bumpy weather before it gets better. But I, I do think oh, it's going to get better in 2023. What does that more pain look like in, in your mind? A lot like today, I, I think the markets are going to take some more hits and go down further and investors should just nibble away. I think that there's a lot of stuff right now that's attractive at these current valuations, but I'd hold a lot of dry powder and ease your way back into the market with the dry powder you do have and be patient. It's going to take time. I mean, I feel like you just walked into what, what my next question should be then for somebody who owns Apple. We started our program talking about the fact that it's a new 52 week low today. What is it? One twenty six. Are you out in the market buying more of a stock like that today? I'm going to buy it tomorrow, to be to be frank. I was just thinking about that before. Some, someone on your team asked me about that specific name. I'm going to be buying it tomorrow. But I, I'm going to save a lot of dry powder and ease my way in there. I've already started buying Amazon and Google. So I, I think it's time to start nibbling away. And if the market goes down another 10, 20, 25 percent, which it might, uh, get really, really aggressive if it goes down that much further. Wow. So, OK, so you're going to buy Apple tomorrow and you've already bought, been buying Amazon and, and Alphabet uh, on the dips that they've had. What about Facebook, which I see you also have Meta, of course. Now, have you been buying? I mean, it's one of the one of the worst of, of the big ones. Have you been buying that, too? I've been shorting puts on on Meta and on um, Tesla recently, both. Uh, but I've, I've been shorting puts way out of the money and earning a lot of income in the in the interim, I have not been outright buying the stocks yet. I'd, I'd like to see them get cheaper before I did that. So I don't do, like do those you think that, as much as Google and Amazon, to be frank. I, I hear you. I, I hear you. Do, do you think the overall market is going to have a, a good year next year if you're willing to step in on on some of the larger stocks w within the S&P 500? I mean, the stat that I read earlier today on, on the halftime report and that you may have heard yourself, you've got $10 trillion worth of stock losses this year. And something like 50 at least percent of that is due to seven stocks, the mega cap ones, many of which you just mentioned. You know, a lot of your guests, Scott, may, may give you a, a very strong opinion on where the market's going and what they're going to do about it. But I view my opinion and 50 cents will buy you a bad cup of coffee. I, I don't think I, anybody has any idea where the market's going next year. If I had to bank a guess, I would guess we go lower and that you need to be aggressive when the market goes lower. I, I would expect the market to be pretty flat next year with a lot of volatility it's going to go i think it'll go down and it'll come back you you know what that saying is though george right money talks and you know what walks and you maybe are voting that answer with your money buying some of these stocks I, on the dip i appreciate your true. time well, yeah i'll see you soon happy new year to you happy and healthy you we'll too, see you on the Scott. other side all right thank, thank you, you.